Hello everyone, my name is Chance the Rapper, but today I will be Chance the Ragger, as How to Fly created this deepfake version of me to explain the concept of retrieval augmented generation, also known as RAG. I will first shortly explain how RAG works and where it can be used. After that, I'll summarize everything with a short RAG rap, so definitely stay with me until the end. In one of How to Fly's previous videos, deepfake Ryan Gosling carefully explained how LLMs like ChatGPT work. In today's video, we're going to expand the capabilities of LLMs with the possibility to retrieve information from external data sources like the web or private data, such as your PDFs, Excel files, Word documents, emails, and many more. So, let me explain this concept with a short visual. Imagine yourself having a conversation with an AI, like ChatGPT, that can not only accept a question and generate a textual response, but can also retrieve information from external sources in real time to make its responses more accurate informative, and up-to-date. That's what RAG is all about. In plain LLMs like ChatGPT, language models are only aware of the publicly available information they were pre-trained on. For some use cases, this data could quickly become outdated or does not contain privately held information necessary to provide an accurate and trustworthy answer. Let's showcase the difference between LLMs with RAG and LLMs without RAG through an example. If I would share the following prompt with a large language model without RAG capabilities, its response would look something like this. I'm sorry, but I can't provide real-time news updates as my training only includes information up until January 2022. Or if I would ask it something like this, it would probably give me an answer like this. I don't have access to these data points. You might be able to find this information by checking financial reports from Kelanova, the parent company of Pringles. Or worse, start making something up like the global sales data of Pringles is 10 billion. This is what we call hallucinating. RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation, addresses these limitations of LLMs by querying external data sources, ensuring its responses are always fresh, relevant, and accurate. Now, how does RAG work exactly? Let's go back to our example where we ask the following question to our LLM. Please provide us the global sales data of Pringles in 2021, and please provide me some relevant insights behind these numbers. But now, we also have the full financial report of Kelanova containing 200 pages in PDF. One option would be to read the full report and collect the necessary data points. Another option would be to use RAG to extract the relevant data points from the PDF, add it to our input prompt, and then let the LLM generate the correct answer. Let's further deep dive into this RAG process. In the first step, the PDF would be chunked into smaller, more manageable pieces. After the PDF is chunked into smaller pieces, the different chunks are vectorized. This means the chunks of text are turned into an array of numbers which represent the full meaning or semantics of the chunk of text. These vectors are now stored into a vector database. Now when we ask the LLM, please provide us the global sales data of Pringles in 2021, and please provide me some relevant insights behind these numbers, it will turn the question or input prompt into a query vector. This query vector will help us to pinpoint the most relevant chunks of information in our vector database by using techniques such as cosine similarity to find the chunks of information that are most similar to and relevant for our input prompt. Once the most relevant piece of information are found, they are retrieved and added to the input prompt. The amount of info pieces you can add to the info prompt can be set as you like. So now you can ask yourself, why not add the entire text of the PDF to the input prompt? Why limit the pieces of information and potentially miss some relevant info? That's a good point, but know that the amount of info you can set in an input prompt is limited. For example, GPT-4 Turbo accepts a maximum of 128,000 tokens, which is approximately 100,000 words. Also be aware that the more tokens you add, the more energy intensive the process for ChatGPT will be, and in result, more costly. Furthermore, the amount of tokens in a prompt also influences the quality of the response. The more irrelevant elements you add in your question or input prompt, the bigger the chances you will get an irrelevant or less precise answer. So as you can see, adding the RAG capability to an LLM like GPT can be particularly useful in use cases where exact answers are needed based on recent or private data. Here are some use cases where it might be relevant. Legal research. Lawyers preparing for trial can use RAG to quickly scan through the client's case file find relevant case laws, precedents, or legal interpretations. This will speed up the process and ensure they have the most current information. Medical diagnosis. 
Healthcare professionals can use RAG to pull the latest patient health records, research, treatment options, and clinical data to aid in diagnosis and treatment planning. Customer support. Customer service agents can provide real-time, accurate, and personalized solutions by accessing up-to-date product information, user manuals, and FAQs. Market analysis. Analysts can use RAG to pull in the latest market trends, news, and data reports, helping businesses make informed decisions based on the most current and accurate data. And finally, educational content creation. Educators and content creators can use RAG to include the latest findings, studies, and developments in their materials, ensuring their content remains relevant and up-to-date. They can also incorporate the student's progress to offer students a personalized learning trajectory. Of course, there are many more good use cases for RAG out there. If you have any, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section. I'm very curious to hear them. Okay, now we have arrived at the RAG wrap section, where, as promised, I will drop a few bars to summarize what we learned about RAG. Here we go. LLMs are just fine, but when data is mine, RAG's essential, so let's make it shine. Retrieval's the first step, like digging for gold through mountains of data, both new chunks and old. RAG pulls from the data, not random, but wise. The texts that relate, the answer, it spies. LLMs are like artists, they blend, generate responses on which insights depend. Answers more rich, more accurate, and true, providing my mind with an inspiring view. So, if you like my short intro into the concept of retrieval augmented generation, then leave a like. If you want to learn more about generative AI, what it's capable of, and how to optimally use it yourself, then don't forget to subscribe, because in one of our upcoming videos, we'll give you a hands-on tutorial on how to augment an LLM like GPT with RAG capabilities by using Langchain and Pinecone. Got questions or topics you want us to cover? Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.